bitch, don't fuck with the flowers. Oh, bitch, I make it rain, y'all. You did that. They want to know a thing about you. You still that. Hello guys, my name is Nightwalker Lots, and this is my fifth take trying to voice over this video. I'm bad at commentaries. So the point of this video is that I just want to address why Icebreaker V3 was broken. Uh, the fact that Icebreaker V3 is now updated and less buggy. I say that now because last last video uh, that I made about this Icebreaker V3 menu, it was basically a bug fix. So I guess you can consider this video the bug fix of the bug fix. The link to this updated version of the menu is, will be in the description, as well as the video that I, the last video I made about it, as well as the person who made the source code um, of this menu, as well as the person who made the first version of this menu. Uh, th th there's a lot of credit, but it'll, it'll all be down in the description below. Trust me, everything will be there. Now, a while ago, I did make a video about this this Icebreaker V3 menu. Uh, at the time, I called it Frozen Kush, and the, the link to this video on my channel will be in the description somewhere if you, for whatever reason, want to see it. But I actually took this video down a while ago, for about a year, actually. Um, if, well, at least it feels that way. Basically, it was just brought to my attention that the, the Icebreaker V3 crashed even more than V2. So, especially since in the video I said this about the menu, is that I've fixed all the crash coding. This menu does, will not crash your game. And if it does, then it's probably your system or something else that happened. It's, I can guarantee you it's not the menu. Oh boy was I wrong, but I did fix the problem. So in the menu, there was this code about like force hosting, a lot of force host code, even more script about force host than I've even seen. There's like apparently like five different DVRs for force host for different parties. Uh, so I fixed most of that up because a lot of the script just wasn't needed and it was quite overboard and it probably made the cra menu crash in the first place. So I took that out. I also added in um, more force host uh, script into it, but um, basically, force host, force host that would work, uh, n not force host that would crash your game. The one I'm familiar with and I knew that worked. I also took out a bit of the code that actually forced you to look up, so you can actually like put your head down now. Um, and this makes the menu actually run a bit smoother. Also, I know the at ice clan tag was kind of annoying, so I made it rain by default instead. I kept that part of the menu. Also, if you want to download this menu, the new Icebreaker V3 menu is basically, it runs a whole lot smoother, trust me. Um, the link will be in down in the description, as well as the video that I previously made on this new menu. That'll also be down in the description for whatever reason you want, if you want to view it. Um, the creator behind the source code in the first version of this menu, uh, the terrific how-to, his channel would be down in the description as well as the Icebreaker V2 menu. I'm also leaving down in the description uh, a tutorial of how to rehash and resign game saves if you don't already know how to, uh, so that way you can basically rehash it to your profile and use it. I was planning on adding a lot more stuff to this menu, um, but unfortunately this is literally just a bug fix of a bug fix. Um, the reason why I can't create a lot more features for this menu is because I, I asked um, someone that was still in the World at War modding scene, or at least closely tied to it, uh, if he would make a tool that would make um, SVG injection possible. And unfortunately he says he doesn't know how SVG injection works. So um, basically making um, anything beyond ed just editing the menu when possible. Um, I can basically edit some of the code inside of it, but I'm very limited to what I can actually edit in the code. So basically there's nothing more that I can actually do for this menu. So yeah, download it, try it out, and if it crashes on you, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All my social media is down in the description below. All my, you can also join my Discord server. Join the Unity channel if you guys haven't subscribed to that, because I'm going to be doing something really big with that in the future. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I'm done trying to be good at commentary. Uh, I'll let you guys see the rest of this showcase. See you guys.
another one, boy. Oh.